Come on now. Welcome to Eel Island. Eel Island, everybody, encountering the dragon. At 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Our new time. Yeah. Listen, everybody's been excited about our new time slot. Instead of 12 noon, we're moving to 6 p.m. Everyone loves it. We love it. So here we go. Come so on now. So this week, encountering mm. the dragon, they're here. They're finally here. The whole point of this build. Yes. They're here. You can see yes. them kind of one moving around over on Sneak that side. Sneak peek right there, guys. Yeah, Sneak so peek get of the fish these guys. that arrived earlier today and got That's, acclimated. Man, that tank is looking hot. Oh, my goodness. Look at it. It's beautiful. So we're going to go through all that. Mm -hmm. and, um, Our sponsor today is Fritz Aquatics. Yes. yes. So big shout out to Fritz Aquatics uh, for up. sponsoring and this they're segment. they're part of the giveaway that we're doing as well. So mm -hmm. Somebody's going to win big, Jess. Oh yeah, the giveaway is massive. Like massive, ten thousand dollar giveaway. So pretty much, if you're joining us for the first time, six foot peninsula, fully loaded, lights, salt, rocks, supplements. I mean, salt for a year. Everything. <laughs> and we do have a mm. um, video about Fritz and their products to show them. We do, yes. Mm -hmm. And I think we should probably show that before we get started. Check it out. Are we ready? Yeah. Roll it. Let me give you a quick overview of the Fritz line of products for your saltwater aquarium. Fritz offers a line of water conditioners, ACCR and Fritz Complete. These are used to dechlorinate tap water and also neutralize water quality issues like ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. A very important part of setting up a new aquarium is having the proper bacteria established in your system. Fritz has two different products to help you with this process. Fritzzyme 9 contains specific saltwater strains of nitrifying bacteria. In a system, this can take weeks to occur on its own. By adding Fritzzyme, you're going to speed up the biological biofilter in your aquarium. They also offer TurboStart 900, which contains the same live strains of bacteria, but at 15 times more concentration, making it work even faster for your aquarium. Calcium and alkalinity being maintained at the proper levels is essential for coral growth and health. Fritz RPM Calcium Buffer System consists of two parts providing you the highest purity, alkalinity, and calcium. Part 1 provides carbonate alkalinity and Part 2 provides calcium. Magnesium plays an important role in your aquarium. If your magnesium level is not correct, you cannot maintain the balance between calcium and alkalinity. Use Fritz RPM Liquid Magnesium to maintain the proper magnesium levels in your aquarium. Fritz Reef Pro Mix Salt contains all the necessary major and minor elements of natural seawater. It is manufactured in small batches, given a lot number, and tested by in-house quality control. There is also a high alkalinity formula for increased SPS growth and higher nutrient systems. To learn more about Fritz line of products, visit fritzaquatics.com. All right. Great job, Jess. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Listen, Fritz, I mean, they are knocking it out of the park. Yeah. Absolutely. Very, very popular. I mean, it's probably one of the leading uh, salt and supplements right now. Yep, I mean, and they got a lot of other products. Check them out on their website that mm -hmm. we didn't have, have a chance to go over in the video. Um, but yeah, go to their full website. It has food, mm -hmm. all kinds of additives and stuff. Mm -hmm. So check them out. Yes, we're also asking you to share the stream, comment. Rich is here. He is behind the scenes. You can't see him, but he yeah, is right. here. <laughs> Here He's right here. But, uh, whoa, hey. come on now. <laughs> <laughs> He's here so, for uh, answering questions and, and keeping an eye on that. So definitely ask yeah. away and we will be answering the most we can. Absolutely. So um, another quick shot of the tank that we're going to be getting you a closer look at here in just a few minutes. So just stay with us. But So man, this morning, yes. a fish arrived from mm -hmm. Live Aquaria. And they have been taking care of us on the livestock for this uh, build. Yeah. And they have been conditioning and quarantining and taking good care of our fish. And our uh, shipment arrived this morning. Mm -hmm. We did record the acclimation and unboxing and everything of them earlier today. Yeah. So, so let's show that video. That. And we can actually talk over the video real quick and just kind of show you. So, man, they... They sent these boxes, very well packed, by the way. Yes, yeah. So each fish had their own box because these are mm -hmm. some big fish and they're good fish. Um, and they are like bag, I don't know, five layers of bags in there. Plenty of water. Mm, there look at that eel. The honeycomb eel. Wow. So we kind of just got our bins that we did our acclimation in last time. So we'll have Dude, a chance. Dude, those bags were heavy, them. Jess. Yeah, that's how I had you lie. doing it. I, I had you handling that one. I was like, I'm not going to lift these. That's There's a lot of water. Australian harlequin tusk. Yes, gorgeous fish. 
Wow. That's one of my favorite fish. It is favorite one of fish. my favorite as well. The colors you just can't beat. Oh, snap. And who's this? It's the dragon eel. The dragon Encountering eel. the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. There's a reason for the names of these. <laughs> yes. So what we're doing is we are um, acclimating them in these bins here because they are big fish, mm -hmm. and we're going to give them extensive acclimation. So there's our tusk. Emptied him into there. He's going to have his own bin. But we have these brute bins, right? They're kind of like Rubbermaid style bins. Um, great for corals and fish acclimating. And there we are using the Fritz Complete. So the Fritz Complete, like I said, is a water conditioner, but also neutralizes ammonia and nitrite, which can build up in a bag when a fish is mm -hmm. being shipped, especially big fish. So we put yeah. that in there just to make sure the water quality stays good while they're doing their acclimation part. Yeah. Now you're doing the drip line. Mm -hmm. So it's standard airline tubing, right, with a clamp. Mm -hmm. And you pretty much start a siphon on it, and then you have put a tie a knot at the end. Yeah, just tie a knot, and you can loosen or tighten mm -hmm. it however you want, depending on how much water you want to flow through it. You could get fancier, but this works pretty darn good. Yeah, it's really it. good. Just a little airline tubing, and you've got your acclimation. And this gives them a chance to get used to pH, temperature, salinity, any differences in water that we have versus what they were packed in. Mm -hmm. Man, look There's at that eel. Oh, my goodness. I can't even really appreciate them in you the You can't bag, even appreciate how... Awesome. You're going to get to see this guy in a little bit. It is sick. I mean, Live Aquaria, I mean, was so careful on, on quarantining all these, and they've been literally just monitoring them for us. They've been monitoring these for a good Well, oh, look at that. I tried to put my hand in there, and I thought it was going to get <laughs> I'm not going to lie. He yeah. was a little scared of these eels. We'll just put yeah. that out there. I don't want to get too close. Um, Colby says, is this live or pre-recorded? This is live, guys. And someone also mentioned that they think this happened a week ago. No, this this actually did happen today. This All this footage is from today. Today? Yes. So the fish, this they morning. came in this morning. Um, we did this earlier so that they weren't in the bags all day since we did change our show time to 6. And um, they. Good. They, they there you are. are. We are live. See, guys, this is us. <laughs> they sent us a yeah. super chat on YouTube, so that's pretty cool. Nice. Okay. So you can see the eels in there. And what we're doing at this point, set up a drip line for them as well. Start letting them get acclimated to the water. Yes. And at this point, we get to kind of just walk away and leave them there for about the next hour. We keep yeah. an eye on them, checking on the water level and the percentage. I like to double the water volume that they were okay, in. Okay, that's a good that's a good thing <laughs> to consider. When acclimating. Yep. So, you yeah. know, about double the volume. And we did have to top off the tank with salt water during this because we did drain yeah. out quite a bit of water. Yeah, that's so. for sure. And I put those lids on. I was like, hey, I'm going to make sure that this thing doesn't jump out. Yeah, so the <laughs> lid on the eels is put on there tight. So about an hour later, we came back and we had... So this is time lapse, right? So after acclimation was done, right? This is a few hours later. Here's our Australian tusk. Go now, ahead. there are two different um, Harlequin tusks, one from Australia and one from Indo. The Australian ones are the ones that are the super bright colors, that mm -hmm. deep, deep orange, and the bright blue teeth. So they are the most colorful. Wow. And Rasses tend Look to be that. a little mad when they first go in a tank, so if they lay down a little bit, it's not to be concerned. Our parrotfish is Dude, the parrot is awesome, too. Jesus says he's in Mexico uh, for a vacation at a family reunion, and his family asked him where he was going, and he said, Waterbox is live, so I have an appointment. Uh, yeah, there you go, man. <laughs> Waterbox live takes priority. We appreciate that. Now, Jess, these eels, I mean, yes. come on. So eels can be pretty crazy when you try to take them out and move them. So I did use a, like a double net method where I used the big net to scoop them and kind of close them in with that smaller net. If you just put them in the one net, you could easily have a, a eel on the ground. A jumper. Real fast. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to kind of just let them in gently. Yeah, you did real good trying to like just gently letting him get out of there. And look at that. Got a little experience here. Wow. Look at that boy. Oh, my God. So wow. <laughs> this is when you really get to appreciate a dragon eel because they have the biggest teeth and they pretty much are always just holding their mouth open. And wow. They look, so look at that. Look at that. He sick. is. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, who does not want one of those, guys? I've always dreamed of having that. Well, that you can, is... You can see those teeth, and, and that face is just like, he just wants to, like, bite you. Like, if he <laughs> just wants to bite you. This is his main thing. Love that. It's Look the Water Aquarium sending a super chat. It says, love Waterbox, love your streams. Yay! Oh, thanks, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ken and Greg. Ken and love Greg, them. man. Awesome guys over there. Go make sure you guys follow them on YouTube, too. They post a lot of really good... Yeah, they got great content. Saltwater Korean. Check them out. They're also a Waterbox uh, retail partner. 
So here wow. we have our honeycomb eel. He Dude, he's is, moves. He moves fast. I'm not gonna lie, this guy's a little feisty. Um, a little I feel feisty. that he's gonna give us a run for our money more than anybody in this tank. Yeah, he active. is very active. So oh, snap. he was looking for a way out of that net quick. Oh snap. And we'll release Man. him in there. Once again, guys, this is a six foot water box peninsula predator reef tank. Unbelievable. Oh. Whoa, look at that. Oh uh, my god. Yes. He was really happy. He started exploring all the caves. Oh, the, snap. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> the rock that's in here is perfect for the eels. It perfect. is perfect with the arches in the caves perfect. from the Carib Sea Rock. And they're just, oh, my God. <gasps> a, there, it looks, and we've been just kind of talking and staring at these fish oh my God. all day long. It is so, so um, unbelievable, guys. And we are going to feed them live or literally in just a few seconds. Yes. <laughs> and we're going to take you right to the tank. Hopefully we don't get bit. I'm this is going to be exciting. I'm going to not lose a finger or have any other fish try to eat one another mm. by eating yes. over food. Main thing is not to lose a finger because uh, I think you almost lost a finger earlier today by the I did. I was adjusting, I was adjusting the, the nozzle. I didn't even realize it. My finger was in there and the yellow puffer came up and gave papaya. me Papaya. We've named papaya. her Papaya. Is papaya has given me a little bite. And she came in to bite your finger off. Mm -hmm. So it is slightly dangerous. Let's go uh, feed some yeah. fish. Yeah, let's go. Let's go check out the fish tank. Get a closer look, guys. Now remember, I didn't mention, you got to go to waterboxaquariums.com slash Eel Island and win, or somebody's going to win this tank. Yes, yeah, so right. we have a full giveaway. Everything mm -hmm. that we've used on this system, it's over $10,000 giveaway. Everything you need for like the to set it up Everything. and to get you through your like your first year of running the system um, is included in this giveaway. Got to say, the fish from our previous week of the puffers and the parrot fish in the group are, are doing Great. amazing. Great. They've Love been them. feeding well. They're loving their tank. And the grouper, everyone's actually making their appearance out. I think they know it's feeding time. Their cup has been sitting over here with food since yeah. earlier, and I think they're a little bit upset about it. And we're gonna see who wants to come out and eat. Oh yeah, I'm sure there's gonna be a frenzy here in just a few seconds. Yeah, there's a. This is main live, thing of, so you never know. Eel Island. Happen. Main thing is <laughs> going to be frenzy. Oh my God. Listen, you could also get you one of these shirts, man. Listen, we've been selling a lot of these. These are gonna get you extra entries to win this ultimate giveaway, the Eel Island. Come on, man. Yeah, so there's a lot on. of ways to get entries in here of just following, answering questions, getting a shirt, sharing your link with friends, um, all of that. Mm -hmm. so. A lot of people in here watching with us. We got Rob, Barb, Michael, um, Erica, Jessica. We have a ton of people on YouTube also. Uh, Jesus, Raquel, Bentley, lots of questions coming in. All right, um, ask away while we're... Yes, yes. So I'm, just, I'm trying to like get some of the food onto... We're using feeding stick and tongs just because the puffers, because they've been in here since last uh, the other week, are way more acclimated to feeding time than, say, the new guys will be. So I want to try and make sure that everyone gets some food. Just chilling, man. Just chilling, man. Who's Papaya is, is chilling. Oh. Yes. Yo, there's the eel in the corner. See him? All right, I'm going to see if I can get the dragon eel some food. Do you want to try and maybe keep the puffers on this side? With I'll keep the puffers trail? on this side. And I'm going to see if I can get the dragon yeah. eel. Holy like says, are the fish in the tank so in the giveaway? The oh, they are not. <laughs> God, not that quickly. You're supposed to keep them over there. Jeez, Jesse, he like almost jumped out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> trying to bite you. Trying to bite me. Oh, Dragon Eel just ate a silver side, just right. like oh, that. Really? Oh, what? Oh, no. Right. Honeycomb. No, don't take his food. Uh oh. Honeycomb's pretty aggressive. Yeah, I gotta get him his piece so that he doesn't. Uh oh, he's like, yo, you better feed me fast. Where's his head at? Over here, over here. On this oh. side. Did the Dragon Eel keep it? Yeah, yeah, he kept it. Okay. Uh, so, Solid Aquarium says Ooh, eels stop. with no lid. No, we do have a lid. And we <laughs> we also do have, have a lid. It is off right now. Um, it's right, a, we weighed it honeycomb. down with uh, two by fours, actually, because these fish. Dude. Uh, yeah, so we have, um, we made a custom lid for this, and it is weighed down by a very large two by four when we are not uh, doing this right on TV for the um, tank because we do know that eels will escape. Hold on, hold on. Let me get Golly. Yeah. All right, that's. Hold on a second. All right, I want to do the eels first, this and then everyone else. This is a tank of very eats. aggressive eaters. So very let's do, aggressive let's eaters. Let's do eels again. All right, here's honeycomb. Hey, hey buddy. Sandra says, "How do you here. avoid getting bit when, bitten when placing corals?" Ah, well, I will tell ah. you that you do get bitten. Dean, I think, got bit yes, today. Yes, I got bit today. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness, look at that, look at that guy just chomping down on that silver side. Right, I'm gonna get the dragon eel another piece of silver side, then we can let everyone You know what else. it is, Jess, that silver side? What? It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, listen. Watch this guy, this guy here. Do you eat one, if it's so delicious. Yeah, it's so delicious. I'd like watch to see this. you eat one. Here you go, watch this, buddy. Right, over here, I got the dragon eel. If you want to come over, mm. he is ready. <laughs> Look at this guy. It looks like the names of the fish are already getting out there because Bentley says papaya is gorgeous. Papaya. Dang! Look at him just chowing down on that silver side. So this just shows how well Live Aquaria takes care of their fish and condition them before they ship them out. Is that these guys have been eating and doing really well for a while before they came to us. So these guys are just like happy to eat. Wow! Look at that. Like Jesus said, if, are you even an Aquari an Aquarius if you don't get bit? That's right. No. It's like <laughs> a rite of passage. <laughs> Listen, man, to join the gang, you gotta get bit. Gotta get bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he gotta doesn't want bit. another one. I'm gonna try for the Grammy the Grouper. Wherever he ended up. Oh, I think the honeycomb probably will take an. Oh, there's a Grouper. Could you play with that? <laughs> He's just feeding puppers over yeah, there. All right, we're gonna get honeycomb. <laughs> Honeycomb looks very hungry. Do not try and go out. There you go. Hey, that guy's a beast. Wow. Beast mode. Papaya needs some food. Papaya, papaya is happy hungry. to eat. You ready, Papaya? Come over here. Papaya! So a lot of the, our viewers should know, too, is these fish were specially curated from Live Aquaria. They do have such amazing fish, and they quarantine them for a long period of time. They make sure they're eating. See the groupers sure out. Healthy. They make sure they're disease free. Man, uh, look at them. You know, these fish in here are pretty special. Very these special. are very special. Yeah. Aren't just, these aren't just run of the mill fish that you typically see in an aquarium like this. So. These are, yeah, they're very unusual fish. They're, they're hand picked and we have worked real close with Live Aquaria for a couple of months now on the fish selection. Um, how they were doing, any changes we need to make in our stock list. Um, so they've been really great with this, and they're very, um, they're very smart in what they want to put together and what they will allow to be put together. So, and you'll see the the parrotfish kind of just goes around and picks at the smaller stuff. So we don't really have to spot feed them anything. He just kind of, and the honeycomb is going to eat everybody. Oh god! Yo! <laughs> Yo! Um, Come on! So, anyways. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my God, that's bad. Shelly and a couple other people are <laughs> wondering really about. Uh, just some people are wondering about the corals that you're that you're. He wants here. more. We are Jess. putting corals <laughs> in this. Stuff. Yeah, so we are going to put corals <laughs> in here. We are going it's like, oh, because snap. <laughs> I mean, puffers and stuff are not necessarily known as reef safe. They are reef safe with caution. Um, we're not going to be able to have a lot of inverts and stuff in here. No, I was trying to get more for honey. Oh my goodness, see the puffer took them all. I'm gonna grab, we need silver Need some side. more, yeah. Let's um, go get some more silver sides. So this... doing things like uh, oh. star polyp rocks and like soft corals that are not what we consider to be like very tasty oh. for fish to eat. Um, so it's gonna be real easy, softy stuff that is just gonna kind of cover and can grow and can also be in a little bit higher nutrient system because when you have large predators, your water quality is not going to be zero nitrate all the time like a, like a reef tank would be with LPS and SPS corals. Just, he seems to calm down a little bit. Yes, your son Connor wants to know if all the fish will be safe with the eels. Yes, they will. <laughs> Hi, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be good. Hopefully. Uh, Can you get this the eel over is here? definitely rather Keenan? aggressive. Right in the corner, man. Look at him. He's also probably been, I would imagine, hasn't Zoom eaten in, in a few guys. days. So, yes, um, live aquaria, before they ship these large fish, they do what call what's purging them, which means for about 48 hours they do not get fed so that they don't make a lot of waste in the bag. So these guys are super hungry. Yeah. We're talking two to three days of not really yeah. eating. Oh, yeah. look at that. So they are in a new tank. They're trying to figure Sick. out feeding time. And, um, you know, they're just kind of overly probably zealous yeah. right now the and very hungry. Is, is ready to eat. <laughs> yeah, he just ate quite a bit. I mean, after not eating for three or so days, I'll probably go get him another silver side, give him a whole one. To keep them, yeah. um, but you can see just or kinda. an extra one. And also <laughs> eels. One thing else people is eels don't. Do you throw have... a chicken leg in there. I mean, you probably eat it. <laughs> eels I don't mean... have very big, uh, very good vision either. That's true. There's mostly sense of smell, so they think food's around or another fish is going after a piece of food. They're just kind of like going crazy looking for it because That's their true. sight is really bad. They're smelling, right? They go by smell and kind of sensing yeah. objects around them uh, more than sight at all. 
Wow. So, Dude, look at that. Look how beautiful that porcupine puffer is. Everything is I mean, it's ate. gorgeous. Everyone is super happy. Um, I'm going to get that honeycomb another silver cider too before we go today. Yeah. And make sure he is super full because he is a little crazy. But he's yeah. gorgeous. Eel Island, guys. Is officially Eel Island. Is officially Eel Island. Woohoo! I mean, it all was based around this, right? I mean, this is, was our vision, Jess, was to do this tank with the these eels. The very first eels. vision was to have a dragon eel. Yeah. And we built the tank and kind of the stock list around that concept. Yeah. Well, I, I, Rich actually was the one that he said, I wanted the dragon eel. I've always wanted a dragon eel. That's your dream mm -hmm. fish, right? And yeah, we so said, we're going to build the tank around. One. So we're this gonna is gonna build it around that fish. Technically yep, this whole system tank. was built around specifically that. around that eel. Yeah. So, Man, these fish are looking so good. So good. And everyone ate. They're happy. Everyone looks really good. And yeah. Eel Island is sponsored by... Live Aquaria. So definitely go to liveaquaria.com and check yep. them out um, yeah. because that's where all of these fish came from. Yeah, the link to all these fish yeah, on the, the link Eel Island page is okay. on yeah, the page. Yeah, great point. If you guys head over to waterboxaquariums.com slash Eel Island, um, it's also on the homepage to link over to it. You can actually see a list of all the fish in this aquarium with links to Live Aquaria with all the details on them. Yeah, so maybe somebody wants to set up a tank very similar to this. You know, we, we, we see you that see a lot. You see the beauty of the fish and you want to know where you can get such healthy specimens, Live Aquaria. Yeah. Go check them out. They have nano fish, they have inverts, they have big fish, anything you Fresh water, for. salt water, plants, corals. Yep. I mean, Live Aquaria's got just tons and tons of gear. Yeah, they not only have fish and corals, but they also have dry goods. Yeah. Including water box. Including yeah. water box. So they if you want to pick up water a water box, you can go to Live Aquaria and do that. Mm-hmm. Very, very cool i mean guys eels in the peninsula i mean does it get any cooler than that I mean, and yes anyone who's asking i'm sure they will the, the lids are going on and with the big two by four as soon as we get done with the show yeah um i'm gonna feed the honeycomb a little bit more yeah we actually and use then we'll the, put the, lids uh, and stuff back on. the dd jump guard yes um it's like a black mesh um kind of cut to fit very easy to kind of put on there um and it keeps that rimless look it does. Like when it's mm -hmm. on, you can hardly tell it's there. It's not going to block the light, so it's perfectly good for reef tanks. Yeah. And it was, you know, just take your time with cut, making it precise, and it mm -hmm. fits in really nicely. And we just generally on a general, like a most tanks, you would not need that extra weight on the top. Mm -hmm. But with these eels, being escape artists, <laughs> we are going to put that two by four across the top. Just especially when we're not here overnight on the weekends because we don't want. Yeah, we don't want parties, any so. disasters to happen. So um, definitely. So. What do everybody need to do, right? You need to go to waterboxaquariums.com slash eel island. Yes, that's where okay. all information about enter the your e is. Enter your email address. Mm -hmm. It's that easy, guys. And you can enter to win over a $10,000 giveaway. Yes. So when you go there, it's going to have a spot for you to put your email. And it's going to show you all the ways to get entries. Yep. You've, and every single week, we do um, put questions and questions mm -hmm. in there and a link to visit for our sponsor that week yep. that gets you more. There it is so right each there. Each week, you can gain more. So you can go through and do all the back ones. Referring a friend is endless. Yeah, you can binge, you can binge watch all of our episodes. <laughs> and right? you should if you, you should. Seen them. It's right there. <laughs> and then you can answer the question and get more entries. So I mean, there's people that are just following along, hoping they're going to win. Yeah, visit our, all of our sponsors that are working with us because um, those are the products that you'll be getting in the giveaway if you win. And you can see them all listed here. Yeah. It is seriously every jam that you need. packed. And it's incredible. you could have the exact tank we're doing right now. <laughs> if you wanted it. It's awesome. Um, absolutely. Next week, guys. Oh, oh look at that. And those are the actual fish that are inside our tank. Yes. So Live Aquarium actually sent us actual photos of the fish when they have them there in conditions. Um, and we put them up here so you can go check those out mm -hmm. for each one. And then also just check out all their fish selection because these are just the predators, really. Dude, Live Aquaria is knocking it out of the park, guys. Um, next week, we're going to be at Macna, yeah. Orlando, Florida. Huge event. Happens once a year. Yeah. Um, it's a really big show. It's actually three days. Three Friday, Saturday, and day. Sunday for the show. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're anywhere around Florida, come check that out because it's a huge show. Absolutely massive, huge. massive, yeah. massive. And next week on Eel Island, we're putting corals inside the tank. Yes, yeah, so everyone is asking, what kind of corals are you putting in with these yeah. aggressive fish? We will show you kind of what we have picked that is going to be the safest mm -hmm. bet with this. With now this listen, that's gonna really after, like... listen, after seeing the, that feeding frenzy, <laughs> 
I don't know if I'm gonna put my arm in there to go put some corals in. I'll it. be the brave one. It's okay, Dean. I'll take uh, care of it. I'm telling you, Jess, this is crazy. This is this is like it's definitely get the paramedics ready. It's definitely a lot different. Get the paramedics ready. It's definitely a lot different, than, right? <laughs> definitely a lot different maintaining that tank than our traditional reef tank. Yeah. Because you do yeah. have to be cognizant of getting bit. Yeah. yeah. How <laughs> awesome is that? I mean, that is You were touching man. a lock line earlier and you got bit. You I know. Did. Now we have eels with this. We've got more fish coming um, the week after yeah. next. So this isn't the last <laughs> of the fish either. Um, this is going to be and I know, frags. I know that everyone's going to be like, Jess, you need to pick something up in the tank and I'll have to yeah. come We might have to get some it. tongs or something to like, big grabbers to... There was the lots in. of teeth in that tank. Yeah, I'm or telling I was going to do some videos of me petting them all nice. Oh as my they goodness! They become my, my friends. So. The Jess Whisperer. Yes, the tank looks great. Everyone is happy they ate. So. Yeah. Wow, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Eel Island continues. We'll How see. exciting! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we'll next see you week. next week. All right.